hello everyone welcome back to my open world tutorial series so today I'm going to uh, well last time I did some changes to my weapon attachment system so now they have physics simulations as you can see but after that my equip and up unequip part was broken so I'm going to fix that today I have fixed that today and also as you can see when the weapons are on the back they are small but once I equip them they are a little larger than how they look when they are on the back so those are the things I am going to cover today alright and as always this episode is also sponsored by these generous patrons Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Alright, so this is what we have at the moment. As you can see, uh, my sword and the axe uh, swings, but uh, the bow and the quiver don't move at all. That's because I haven't added the physics simulations to those so let's add physics simulations to those uh, objects as well right now this is the bow bow hinge and it doesn't move because there is not simply not enough room for the bow well first uh, let's add uh, this physics simulation to the simulation to the quiver so I'll duplicate these objects and put them inside this quiver strap rename Okay, and then I should move this into zero 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 local location and rotation within the inside the quiver strap. So it's like this. All right. And let's set up these things. Now I'll make this uh, BP inventory, which is the quiver, in as a child object of this. And let's see. Wait. Now it looks like this. Still they don't do any movement, maybe they don't have enough space to move. Shall we move this further and see what happens?
well then something happens but that's not what I really need but that's all right I think I'll just leave them like this and then I'll work on this uh, as I said before I think this uh, bow is too large compared to the character so therefore um, oh what happened when I equip the bow let's see What's the input key I have used? Yeah, it is draw arrow. Yeah, I should keep the scale rule to world, keep world everywhere. Now it's okay. But my aiming is not working. Why is that? Alright, I've been doing some changes to my animation blueprint. Maybe something is broken. Let's see. Update speed. Where do I update the rotation of the character? okay this is the reason to that problem as you can see here in the working state I do this upper body rotation change in the inside this working state but then again I set this upper body slot mm. This uh, montage plane so default slot I blend here. Maybe if I just ignore this, that will be fixed. So just to see if I'm correct, right? We don't play the montages now. Yeah, you can see the aiming is working now okay so right so uh, I have to reorder a little bit here I need the default slot and uh, probably this part still maybe I can move this part to the yeah I can play it here and then I'll move this part to the working state oh I think I tried this already for some reason I couldn't do it let's see yeah we can't create this Save for Sia. All right, so that's why I didn't do that in there. Okay, so we have to do this here. Then the only thing we can do is 
move in this upper body rotation to the outside so we can just connect this here like this and let's move that part here like this but I should only do this if I am in the walking state uh, no, I don't think that would be a problem at the moment right let's see if it is working now yeah it is working as expected all right now what will we do yeah back to attach in toggle weapon part okay so this is what happens let me show you mm. when I'm like this you can see my axe and sword is hanging and they have physics <laughs> like this but if I equip the sword once and put it back now it does not have that swinging effect anymore I'll show the same happens with the axe as well the reason is when I put back the sword as I have implemented before I attach the weapon to the weapon strap not to this bow hinge or weapon 2 hinge so therefore what should I do is I should move them like this instead of weapon strap 2 now I should move it to weapon hinge 2 and here and for the bow I should where where do I equip bow? Well, here, instead of this bow strap, I should use bow hinge. Now where else I have used them? Okay. Here also, I should use weapon hinge 2 and weapon 1 hinge. Okay, now they have physics. Let's equip the weapon and put it back and it still has physics but as you can see the location is a little bit different why is that let's see maybe there is a local offset to the weapon yeah there is so what should i do is i need to get rid of that local offset so first I'll pause the animations and then let's yeah let me hide these no I can't hide them uh, yeah I have to otherwise I can't see so let's disable the visibility of those and let's remove this local rot 
location offset now it's like this so the only thing I can do is move in this hinge upward I hope that wouldn't would not cause any trouble I will see let me enable physics animation again and test Well, that seems so right. Okay, let's do the same to the other as well. Okay, and for the bow. Okay, luckily bow don't have that problem. All right. Okay, this seems to work just fine. Okay. What else? Yeah, I said I need to make them smaller when they're on the back. So, how can I do that? Well, let's see what's the current scale. Alright, they are based on. this okay so let's just test for now I'll put uh, this weapon to outside the character mesh only to see the real scale of that weapon okay it's so one 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 all right let's see the other weapon weapon one yeah that is also one 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 good what about the bow let's see also one 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 right so what I have to do is when I change the weapons when I actually when I equip the weapons I need to scale them up and down Where should I do that? Okay. Here. Um, when I equip the bow. This is the place I equip the bow. Here I'll set the scale of the bow to. No, this is where I put back the bow, right? So here I'll set the scale of the bow 
set uh, world scale to maybe point six. And when I equip it, I'll set it back to one, one, one. I hope that would not be too noticeable. Let's see. What happened now? Ah, when I put back the bow, this happens. Some problem with the interactions. Maybe I should disable the collisions of the bow. Because I don't need any collisions at the moment. Let's see. No, still not working properly. I enabled the visibility of. Oh, no. Let's enable the visibility of these hinges to see what's going on. Okay, they are like this. And if I equip the bow, they like this. Uh, okay. For some reason, I'm changing the scale of the hinge. Alright, uh, let's see. This is where I change the scale. Ah, okay, here instead of connecting this bow hinge, I should connect the bow itself. Sorry about that. Okay, now that's all right. So, okay. So let's, I feel it's uh, too small now. So, I'll disable the visibility of those hinges again. Okay, now I should set the initial visibility also of these weapons to that level, that means 0.8. Wait, this is 10. 
so how do I set them okay for that first I will pause this animations now uh, let's see here yeah when I set the current weapon here I'll set world scale not the target Here. Set world scale. To one one one. And when I put them back, that means here. I move those components again to the weapon hinges so I should make these set world scale 3d to 0.8 like before Okay, I need to equip them at least once to see the effect. Yeah. So now we need to set the initial scale. Okay. To set the initial scale, I'll post animations to if just in case if I get location differences when I move them outside and inside the mesh so I'll put them here uh, that is weapon 1 and I'll set the scale to 0.8 and move back to weapon strap 1 hinge okay so that is 8 7.9.6 maybe this is 8 all right eight okay but I think boys is still too large. Wait. I don't think I saw a difference. Now let's re-enable animations and see. Okay, this looks better. Here we have a problem. Right, that happened when we equip the bow right after, uh, not the bow, the current weapon right after I put back the bow. So, yeah. It should be 
be happening here. This is where I put back the bow back on the hinge bow hinge. So after that I should be equipping the current weapon. Okay, right here I should keep uh, not the world again I should set it back to 111 scare Okay, I can't set the world scale here because this is in the type of act. Get parent component. Okay. Set world scale 3. Here. Actually, one 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 and where else I use this here also I have to do the same Wait, didn't work. All right, here I forgot to set this as keyword. And here also I should keep word. Now it should be all right. Yeah. And one more small thing. Now I'll stop this episode at this point. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club and also you will have the source code access depending on the tier you join. And I'll soon upload a source code and okay, uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.